Ben and Jerry's Wikipedia article audio Ben and Jerry's Homemade Holdings Inc., trading and commonly known as Ben and Jerry's, is an American company that manufactures ice cream, frozen yogurt, and sorbet. It was founded in 1978 in Burlington, Vermont, and sold in 2000 to Anglo-Dutch conglomerate Unilever. Today it operates globally as a fully owned subsidiary of Unilever. Its present-day headquarters is in South Burlington, Vermont, with its main factory in Waterbury, Vermont. Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield were childhood friends from New York. While Greenfield finished college, he found himself unable to make his way into medical school. Cohen dropped out of school. In 1977, Cohen and Greenfield completed a correspondence course on ice cream making from Pennsylvania State University's Creamery. Cohen has severe anosmia, a lack of a sense of smell or taste, and so relied on mouthfeel and texture to provide variety in his diet. This led to the company's trademark chunks being mixed in with their ice cream. On May 5, 1978, with a $12,000 investment, the two business partners opened an ice cream parlor in a renovated gas station in downtown Burlington, Vermont. In 1979, they marked their anniversary by holding the first ever free cone day now an international annual celebration at every Ben and Jerry's store. History Founding In 1980, they rented space in an old spool and bobbin mill on South Champlain Street in Burlington and started packing their ice cream in pints. In 1981, the first Ben and Jerry's franchise opened on Route 7 in Shelburne, Vermont. In 1983, Ben & Jerry's ice cream was used to build the world's largest ice cream sundae in St. Albans, Vermont, the sundae weighed 27,102 pounds. That same year, the cows on their cartons were redesigned by local artist Woody Jackson. In 1984, Hagen does wanted to limit distribution of Ben and Jerry's in Boston, prompting Ben and Jerry's to file suit against the parent company, Pillsbury, in its now famous What's the Doughboy Afraid of? campaign. In 1987, Hagen does again tried to enforce exclusive distribution, and Ben and Jerry's filed its second lawsuit against the Pillsbury company. In 1985, the Ben and Jerry's Foundation was established at the end of the year with a gift from Ben and Jerry's to fund community-oriented projects, it was then provided with 7.5% of the company's annual pre-tax profits. In 1986, Ben and Jerry's launched its Cowmobile, a modified mobile home used to distribute free scoops of Ben and Jerry's ice cream in a unique, cross-country marketing drive driven and served by Ben and Jerry themselves. The cowmobile burned to the ground outside of Cleveland four months later, but there were no injuries. Ben said it looked like the world's largest baked Alaska. In 1988, the two men won the title of U.S. Small Business Persons of the Year, awarded by U.S. President Ronald Reagan. Also that year, the first brownies were ordered from Greystone Bakery, which led to the development of the popular chocolate fudge brownie flavor. In 1992, Ben and Jerry's joined in a cooperative campaign with the national non-profit Children's Defense Fund. The campaign goal was to bring children's basic needs to the top of the national agenda. Over 70,000 postcards were sent to Congress concerning kids and other national issues. In 1995, they hired Robert Holland, Jr. as CEO after holding a Yo! I'm your CEO. 
S.A. contest as part of the search. Holland left after 20 months following philosophical differences and was replaced by Perry Odak in 1997. In 1989, Ben and Jerry's revealed their opposition of the use of RBGH in all their products. This genetically engineered hormone is sometimes given to cows in order to boost milk production, but Ben and Jerry's does not support this practice and is in favor of utilizing less chemically intensive ingredients for the safety of consumers and the environment. Unilever Era In 1994, Ben and Jerry's, The Inside Scoop, written by Fred Chico Lager, former CEO of Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, was published. This book tracks the history of how Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream got started. The book focuses on how two real guys built a business with a social conscience and a sense of humor. In April 2000, Ben and Jerry's sold the company to Anglo-Dutch multinational food giant Unilever. Unilever said it hopes to carry on the tradition of engaging in these critical, global economic and social missions. Although the founders' names are still attached to the product, they do not hold any board or management position and are not involved in day-to-day -day management of the company. Original Flavors and Sundays In 2001, Ben and Jerry's U.S. completed the transition to Echo Pint Packaging, which packaged all pint flavors in environmentally friendly unbleached paperboard Echo Pint containers, a decision it later reversed. The use of brown craft unbleached paperboard had been a critical first step toward a totally biodegradable pint made without added chlorine. Due to what they described as increasing supply, quality, and cost challenges, Ben and Jerry's discontinued their use of the Echo Pint in 2006, transitioning to a pint container made out of a bleached paperboard that it said was more readily available. On Earth Day in 2005, when a vote in the U.S. Senate proposed the opening of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to oil drilling, Ben and Jerry's launched a protest by creating the largest ever baked Alaska, which weighed 900 pounds, and placed it in front of the U.S. Capitol building. In March 2009, Cyclone Dairy launched an advertising campaign and a website to promote its milk products, which purportedly came exclusively from cloned cows. On April 1, 2009, Ben and Jerry's announced that it was behind this fake company. Ben and Jerry's had created the tongue-in-cheek hoax to raise awareness of the increasing presence of products from cloned animals within American food and to campaign for a tracking system of cloned animal products. The hoax was revealed on April Fool's Day with the message, We believe you should have the right to choose which foods you eat and not to eat cloned foods if you don't want to. And that's why Ben and Jerry's believes we need a national clone tracking system, so people and companies can know where their food is coming from. Controversies In 2010, Jostein Solheim, a Unilever executive from Norway, became the new CEO of the company and had this to say about the transition. My mantra that I've repeated a hundred times since starting at Ben and Jerry's is, change is a wonderful thing, he said. The world needs dramatic change to address the social and environmental challenges we are facing. Values-led businesses can play a critical role in driving that positive change. We need to lead by example, and prove to the world that this is the best way to run a business. Historically, this company has been and must continue to be a pioneer to continually challenge how business can be a force for good and address inequities inherent in global business. Commercial On February 24, 2012, Ben & Jerry's released a new Greek frozen yogurt line, 
which came in several flavors, strawberry shortcake, blueberry vanilla gram, raspberry fudge chunk, banana peanut butter, and vanilla. On April 12, 2013, pineapple passion fruit, vanilla honey caramel, and Liz Lemon were added to the Greek yogurt line. The Liz Lemon flavor was inspired by a character of the same name created by actress Tina Fey as the main character on the NBC television sitcom 30 Rock. Political In 2013, Ben and Jerry's committed to making their products GMO-free in support of mandatory GMO labeling legislation. The Verminster is a large ice cream sundae served in a Verminster bucket in Ben and Jerry's scoop shops. Its ingredients are 20 scoops of ice cream, 4 bananas, 4 ladles of hot fudge, 3 chocolate chip cookies, 1 chocolate fudge brownie, 10 scoops of walnuts, 2 scoops each of any 4 toppings, and whipped cream. It contains 14,000 calories, and 500 grams of fat. Since 2009, the Verminster Challenge is an annual charity event held by Ben and Jerry's in which teams of four compete to finish a Verminster and win free ice cream for a year. Social Chubby Hubby consists of vanilla malt ice cream swirled with fudge and peanut butter and containing pretzel nuggets covered in fudge and filled with peanut butter. During the month of September 2009, Ben and Jerry's, in partnership with Freedom to Marry, renamed Chubby Hubby to Hubby Hubby, in celebration of the legalization of same-sex marriage in the company's home state of Vermont. The carton featured the image of two men getting married beneath a rainbow. On March 13, 2012, Ben and Jerry's announced it would be changing the name of one of its ice cream flavors in the UK in support of equal marriage rights for same-sex couples. Oh. My. Apple Pie. Would become Apple Y ever after and tubs would feature a gay couple atop a wedding cake decorated with rainbows. Chocolate chip cookie dough was temporarily renamed Ido, Ido in the United States during the summer of 2015. This was in celebration of United States Supreme Court's ruling in support of same-sex marriage. The proceeds from sales were to go to the human rights campaign. Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield appeared on the Colbert Report on March 5, 2007 to promote their new ice cream flavor, Stephen Colbert's Amer Icon Dream, and Cohen's progressive advocacy group True Majority. The company renamed a flavor, Yes Pecan, in reference to Barack Obama's victory in the 2008 U.S. presidential election. They decided in January 2009 to donate all proceeds made on the sale of that flavor to the Common Cause Education Fund. Product Safety On March 2, 2011, Cohen and Greenfield appeared on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon and unveiled their new flavor of ice cream, Late Night Snack, whose carton features a picture of Jimmy Fallon on it. Global Locations On February 17, 2015, Cohen and Greenfield appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and unveiled their new flavor of ice cream, The Tonight Dough, which all of its proceeds go to the Serious Fun Children's Network that supports camps for children with major illnesses. In 2015, Chirosette flavored ice cream became widely available in time for the Passover holiday. In April 2015, the company confirmed that it was working on Vegan options, after hearing consumers' feedback, led by a petition and farm organization. In early February 2016, the company announced a new all-Vegan line with four flavors.
Two of these are versions of existing flavors, Chunky Monkey and Chocolate Fudge Brownie, and two are all new vegan only flavors, Coffee Caramel Fudge and Peanut Butter and Cookies. In January 2017, three new non dairy flavors were added Caramel Almond Brittle, Cherry Garcia, and Coconut Seven Layer Bar. Former Markets Wages In January 2018, the company added two new non dairy flavors to its growing line of vegan options. Peanut butter half-baked features chocolate and peanut butter with fudge brownies and pieces of peanut butter cookie dough, while cinnamon buns is made with cinnamon spiced ice cream and features cinnamon bun dough and a cinnamon streusel swirl. Free Cone Day is an annual event held between late March and early May, in which Ben and Jerry's scoop shops give out free ice cream cups and cones. Free Cone Day was first held on Saturday, May 5, 1979, by Ben and Jerry as a customer and staff appreciation event for the first anniversary of their store's opening. Over 1 million free cones are given away each year, prompting the company's ad slogan Be One in a Million. Charitable organizations are often present at the stores each year and enjoy a significant amount of fundraising success. Often, local celebrities show up at various stores, promoting the day and the charities there. Sometimes the event is scheduled to coincide with Earth Day and sometimes volunteers are on hand with clipboards and voter registration forms to help those who would like to register to vote. The Center for Science in the Public Interest, a consumer advocacy group, urged Ben and Jerry's to stop labeling their ice cream as all-natural, due to the company's use of corn syrup, alkalized cocoa, and other chemically modified ingredients. In September 2010, the company agreed to stop labeling their ice cream and frozen yogurt as all-natural. In 2011, Ben and Jerry's released a flavor named Shweaty Balls, in homage to the Saturday Night Live skit of the same name. An American group named One Million Moms protested, saying that the name was too explicit for grocery store shelves spokesperson Monica Cole explained to the media, I realize it could be a lot worse, but are they going to progressively get worse if we don't say something? Maybe they'll think twice before they come up with another inappropriate name for ice cream. However, the expression of disdain was not unanimous among U.S. parents, as Mother Gina Ragusa said to the Huffington Post, We just think it's funny, that's all, and honestly we all really want to try it, adding that she consistently checks for the item's availability at her local supermarket. Actor Alec Baldwin, who appeared in the SNL skit as Baker Pete Schwetty, hosted the September 24, 2011 episode of the 37th season of the show and responded to the protests by stating that a new flavor called Go Fudge Yourself had been produced for those in opposition to the tribute. Following the initial release of the flavor, Baldwin informed the media that thanks to Ben and Jerry's, the goodness of the Shweti family recipe won't go with me to the great beyond, as he had previously feared that his association with the SNL episode would remain permanent until his death. Following rumors that suggested that Ben and Jerry's supported the defense of Mumia Abu-Jamal who was convicted in 1982 of killing Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner the company confirmed that Cohen did sign a petition as a private citizen, asking that the system of American justice be followed fully in the case. Controversy emerged in 2006 after the company released a flavor of ice cream called Black and Tan. It had named the flavor after the alcoholic drink, which is made by mixing stout with pale ale, 
but the Black and Tans are also known as a paramilitary police force of British World War I veterans recruited during the Irish Revolution. At the time that the flavour was released, the Irish nationalist movement was still offended by the historical association of the title. In 2012, Vermonters for a Just Peace in Palestine slash Israel contacted Ben Cohen, Jerry Greenfield and the CEO of Ben and Jerry's after learning that ice cream produced by Ben and Jerry's franchise in Israel was being sold in Israeli settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. Leafleting occurred at locations in Vermont, New York, and California on Free Cone Day in April 2013 and April 2014. As of November 2014, 232 organizations across the United States and in 17 countries worldwide have signed a letter written by VTJP calling on Ben and Jerry's to end its commercial ties to such settlements. In late April 2014, Ben and Jerry's signed on to the Fight for the Reef campaign, a partnership between the World Wide Fund for Nature Australia and the Australian Marine Conservation Society. Premier Campbell Newman and Queensland State Senator Matthew Canavan both said in statements that Ben and Jerry's was making misleading statements that exaggerated the detrimental impact that proposed government programs would have on the Great Barrier Reef, and Environment Minister Andrew Powell said that the only people taking a scoop out of the reef is Ben and Jerry's and Unilever. If you understand the facts you'd want to be boycotting Ben and Jerry's. Australian Ben and Jerry's brand manager Callie Swake responded that Ben and Jerry's believes that dredging and dumping in World Heritage waters surrounding the Marine Park area will be detrimental to the reef ecology. It threatens the health of one of Australia's most iconic treasures. In February 2016, Ben and Jerry's released a new ice cream flavor called Bernie's Yearning in support of U.S. Senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, run for president in the 2016 Democratic primaries against Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton. The flavor consists of plain mint ice cream covered by solid chunk of chocolate. According to Cohen, the chocolate disc represents the huge majority of economic gains that have gone to the top 1% since the end of the recession. Beneath it, the rest of us. This was done in an effort to showcase the United States' current socio-economic issues. In April 2016, Ben and Jerry's co-founders, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, were both arrested at the Democracy Awakening protests on the U.S. Capitol steps in Washington, D.C. In May 2017, Ben and Jerry's announced they would not serve two scoops of the same ice cream flavor in Australia, due to the refusal of the Australian government to legalize same-sex marriage. They said this would encourage fans to contact their MPs to tell them the time has come make marriage equality legal. This stance they said will continue for however long it takes for same-sex marriage to be legalized. In February 2012, a Ben and Jerry's franchise near Harvard University created a limited edition frozen yogurt flavor named Taste the Linsanity in honor of Asian-American basketball player Jeremy Lin, a Harvard alumnus. At inception, the product contained vanilla frozen yogurt, lychee honey swirls, and fortune cookie pieces, leading to a widely publicized controversy about racial stereotyping due to the association of the fortune cookie ingredient with Chinese culture. The latter ingredient was later replaced with waffle cookies, as the fortune cookies became soggy and the franchise received returns from customers. Ben and Jerry's general manager for Boston and Cambridge explained to the media, We obviously weren't looking to offend anybody and the majority of the feedback about it has been positive.
Ben and Jerry's released an official statement shortly after the launch of the product apologizing to those who were offended. In September 2014, anti-hazing activists raised concerns about the ice cream flavor Hazed and Confused, which had been released earlier that year. The concern was that the name could be perceived as belittling of hazing and bullying problems. The company has noted that the name was based on the word hazelnut and a play on the phrase dazed and confused, which is both a song popularized by Led Zeppelin and a coming-of-age comedy film from the early 1990s. The decision was made in October to not rename the flavor. The Organic Consumers Association announced in July 2017 that it found traces of the herbicide glyphosate in 10 of 11 samples of the company's ice creams. The traces were found to be at levels below the ceiling set by the Environmental Protection Agency for Environmental Contamination. Ben and Jerry's has locations around the world. Ben and Jerry's used to have a policy that no employee's rate of pay shall exceed five times that of entry-level employees. In 1995, entry-level employees were paid $12 hourly, and the highest paid employee was President and Chief Operating Officer Chuck Lacey, who earned $150,000 annually. When Ben Cohen resigned as chief executive officer and Ben and & Jerry's announced the search for a new CEO in 1995, the company ended the 5-to-1 ratio policy.